So what is the baddest and coolest production super truck? Well, I'm right here for TFL SEMA Insider 2021 series, and I'm gonna show you four trucks. Right here, right now, I'm at the Chevrolet booth at the show with a concept truck that could potentially hit and hint at something that's coming from GM in the super truck world. This is the Chevy Beast. This truck is basically, well, it's a concept, but it's based on a Silverado chassis. So what they did was they took a two-door short bed chassis and just shortened it a bit overall to create this truck. So the wheelbase here is about the same as a Chevy Colorado midsize truck. And then they went to town on the suspension. Uh, take a look under here. It's a five link system. Look how massive these traction bars are for the rear axle and it's coil sprung as well with Fox shocks. Latest Fox factory technology. Also Chevy performance parts, check this out. Right here, there's a bump stop right here that you can buy for some other trucks in the Chevy lineup from their performance accessories. And this is basically Chevy accessories and performance division showcasing their latest stuff. You can see the coil suspension here, of course, the rear axle, and then this uh, wide suspension, long travel, 37s. Here's some of the other specs. This Chevy Beast has over 13 inches of ground clearance, approximately 45 degrees of approach, 46 and a half degrees of departure. It's got all the specs to be a super truck suspension wise. A special thank you to our friends at Trade Coffee for sponsoring this. Let's face it, the selection at stores can be abysmal for coffee, but what if you could get a package every month, one in a biodegradable package, I should say, and it's something different every month that matches you. More importantly, what if you can get the first one for free after you answer a quiz? Here's how trade works. Step one, take a quiz, answer some questions, and trade will curate the right coffees for you. Step two, choose the frequency of your deliveries. You get to choose how often you want these bags, and most importantly, they come at peak freshness. Step three, rate and repeat. Rate the coffees that you like or don't like, and you'll be able to get exactly what you want. So we ordered Panther, Cuvee, and Joe coffee. This is Amsterdam, and this one, oh, it's delicious. It actually has some hints of chocolate in it and a little bit of walnut. Use the exclusive link below to get your first bag of trade coffee for free. Oh, can't wait. Beadlock capable 20s. So maybe this is a little bit for the show, not so much for true off-road racing because you would probably get like an 18 or a 17 inch wheel on with 37s, but for the show concept truck, this looks just right. Then four person interior, check it out. Fully custom interior, bucket seats, four point harnesses, um, digital displays, and under the hood is a very special engine because every super truck uh, cannot get away with just suspension, right? Check this out. Right here, LT4. It's a supercharged V8 with 650 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque. So this is a proper true, could be a competitor to the TRX and the Raptor R that's coming next year. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what Toyota has in store as well, and also what Ram and Ford are bringing to the show with the latest production ready super trucks. I know that GM has a GMC Hummer EV that's also gonna be very, very special and high powered and great suspension, but this could be, and I'm hoping this is the answer from Chevrolet. Okay, so you just saw the Chevy Beast and this is what Toyota has in store at the show. This truck is called the TRD Tundra Desert Chase truck. And what it is actually is a wide body, long travel suspension, brand new third generation 2022 Toyota Tundra on 37s. Does that sound familiar? Well, yes, I would say this is Toyota's version of the super truck. Under the hood um, is a turbocharged twin turbo V6 engine with a hybrid system, electric motor, and a 10-speed automatic. This engine, this power plant, basically comes in the TRD Pro and other trims of the Tundra, and it's displayed here as well. It's gonna be on sale in approximately March to April timeframe. 
So you do have the power, 437 horsepower. All right, it's not 600 plus, but still, torque is monstrous at 583 pound-feet of torque. And then they went to town in the suspension. So let me show you actually in the front really, really quickly. Because these parts were developed by TRD. That's why they're red and they're stamped TRD. You can see slightly longer A-arms, lower and uppers. You got the shocks with Fox uh, shocks. You got the anti-sway bar. And then you have the, the big 37s, of course. In this case, the general grabbers. So updated suspension, but it wasn't done you know, by somebody else. It was done by Toyota Racing Development Team. So the whole truck is sitting a little bit higher, obviously. Uh, and in the rear, it still uses a multi-link suspension system uh, with a slight lift, of course, to be able to fit the 37-inch tall tire. And it's two inches wider on each side. So if you look down the, down the line of the truck, this bedside is custom carbon piece on both sides and the front fenders are carbon and they left some exposed carbon over the wheel flare right there. So custom pieces uh, trimmed out to be able to flex a 37 inch tall tire. And of course a custom Baja rack in the back system uh, with spare tires. And this truck is truly capable of actually chasing a true Baja team uh, as a support vehicle or also maybe pre-running uh, several trails and actually checking things out in a very serious way. Uh, this truck is not for sale, it's still a concept right now, but I think it gives a hint to what Toyota is capable of to take on the Ford Raptor and the Ram TRX. So speaking of the Raptor, let's go to the Ford booth and check that out. Here it is, the new third generation Ford Raptor 2021 model year. It's right here at the show with a few modifications. And it is a third generation of the truck. The original first gen came out as a 2010 model year. So it's been almost, well, 11 plus years that the Ford Raptor uh, concept of that truck has been in production. And of course it went through several transformations and this is the latest one. This particular one, it's using a lot of parts by ADD, Addictive Desert Designs. As you can see these wheels, beadlock capable, the paint color scheme. But for 2021, Ford was actually first from the super truck crowd, from the OEM, original equipment manufacturer, to put a 37 inch tall tire on a production truck, which is what this is. And they designed the suspension and the frame specifically to accept it. Uh, it's using Fox, you can't really see it here. Uh, maybe I'll show you that in the rear. It's using Fox 3.1 system. So we've seen actually Fox, a, a different version of that system on the Chevy Beast. We saw also some Fox suspension components on the Toyota. And now we see them here on the Ford. That's quite interesting, I think. Um, and yes, um, now this truck is also using, you can kind of tell where the shocks are, but this truck for the third generation went to a five link rear system. Let me show you that underneath. So it's coil based. Obviously you see the solid rear axle, independent front end as well. And um, yes, a five link, you can see those drag links in the front, um, locating the axle and making sure everything is really strong and nice. And so this is becoming a theme now, right? Because we saw that on the Chevy Beast using a multi-link five link system. Toyota is using multi-link with coils. And now of course the production Raptor is also using that. So a couple of other items here on this show truck, this um, customized one, it has a Baja rack system with additional light bar there. It, it's retractable, if you can see right here. It's an actuator where you can actually fold this bar down if you're not using the lights uh, for better clearance or maybe better aerodynamics as you're moving along. And um, let me show you the bumpers because I think that's pretty cool. I really like what they've done with the bumpers here. It's well integrated, um, it's, it's painted. These are very, very strong. Of course, the dual tips are still coming out. And in this case, yellow is the new red uh, for these tow hooks in the rear. Let's, let me show you the front really quick. A very similar um, thing here in the front, but I love this cutout because it creates a really good approach angle and you can kind of see actually the Fox shocks. And of course, the uh, aluminum lower A-arm right there 
um, at the bottom of the suspension. So this is what Ford is doing. Obviously, you can start to already purchase these trucks. Uh, the Chevy Beast is just a concept. The Toyota truck is a concept at this point on 37s, although the Tundras will be available in December. This is already available. And now there's only, I guess, one super truck left which is a Ram TRX, so let's go check one out. All right, guys, so you saw what Chevrolet, Toyota, and Ford have in store, and now right here, I'm at the Mopar booth with the TRX Rex Runner concept. Basically, this truck is showing off some of the accessories you can already, already get on the TRX, but also a few concept parts, but this is the big one right here. This is very important because the 37-inch tall tire is now, you know, the new 35. People are stepping up in the tire sizes in this Rex Runner concept is no exception. It has this concept wheel and also these Mud Terrain KM3 really aggressive 37 inch tall tires. So this is a part of the concept um, of this truck, but a, a lot of TRX owners probably are looking to do something like this with their TRX. But here's another concept part, and I'm not talking about the blue color, I'm talking about this, the skid plate up front, which actually improves the approach angle by about 2.3 degrees, which is a really welcome part, although the TRX already has a lot of ground clearance, but now you're putting it on a slightly larger tire, improving the approach angle, so giving it more clearance, um, so it can do even more stuff than before. Uh, let's walk around this way. Of course, the engine remains the same. In this case, 6.2 liters of supercharged power, 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque, so that's all there. So parts like this, this Ram bar is already an accessory on this truck, you can buy that. Some of those lights may not be, uh, um, you know, not production ready quite now, but could be available in the future. And what all these manufacturers are doing, they want your input, your feedback, what's cool, what's not cool, what should they make and what should they skip. But let's look under here really quick. Check it out, there's another skid plate under here where the spare tire used to be. That's quite interesting. That may be a little bit of our aerodynamic piece as well. And it's not even listed on the parts list. So that's very peculiar why Ram chose that. Over here, of course, you know, the bed extender and the spare tire mount, those things can be already available. The tailgate was removed on this concept. Uh, not a big deal. Check it out, this TRX also has vinyl floors. So it's, of course, it's a luxury truck that starts currently at $72,000, but this Rex Runner concept also shows what's possible to get a little bit of functionality to it and have rubberized floors. So what do you guys think? Uh, obviously, super trucks are in the big, uh, they're very popular these days, and uh, Ram is showing what's possible. Maybe some of this will come to production. So you saw a Chevy Beast on 37s. You saw a Toyota Tundra on 37s. You saw a customized Raptor and this TRX on 37s. Do you see the pattern? Well, I think it's pretty clear. Super trucks are here to stay with big power and big suspension upgrades. And as always, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news, views, and real world TFL SEMA Insider reviews.